Welcome to Microsoft Word tab setting how and why. Tab setting is a very simple feature in Microsoft Word but a lot of people don't seem to understand how to do it at least in the organization that I work for so I thought I'd make this video and explain how and why we want to set tabs. Remember you can always find additional information and resources at my website luthermaddy.com. So for our example today we're going to assume that we're running a hatchery that um, hatches chickens and so we're selling the little chicks and so we're going to create a price list for the different types of chickens. So I've started with a centered title chicken price list and then I'm going to add two columns one for the name of the chicken and another column for the price of that chicken if they were to purchase that from us. So I'm going to turn off my centering. Now let me explain why we want to set tabs and the problem that we encounter if we don't. So what I want is I want the left side to have the left column to have the name of the chicken and then I mentioned as before the right column to be the price. So without setting tabs this is what I'm up against. I hit the tab key once it only jumps a half inch. Hit it again and again. Finally I'm, I'm where I think I want the type of chicken to be so I'll type in the name of the chicken then I'll tab once and I'll tab again and I'll tab again and I'll tab again and again and again and again and over here maybe I want finally the price of the chicken. Now when I press enter ha, I'm once again I'm faced with the same problem so I tab 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 and then I can put in the type of chicken here and tab 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 and put in the price here. Now notice that the prices do not align. That's because I'm using a left tab. So really this is just junk. Um, I want to, to set tabs to make this work much better. Now the nice thing about Microsoft Word is it have <clears throat> different kinds of tabs that you can set. The default tab is a left aligned tab and we saw kind of how that worked as we were working with the tab setting here. So by default we have left tab and that is what I want for the first tab. I want my column to be at about one and a half inches not a half inch indented. So I'm going to move over to the ruler now again make sure your ruler is on. If it isn't on you go to the view tab and you just turn on the ruler. Once you're there, it defaults to a left tab. We'll click at the one and a half inch mark and now you'll see the little mark at one and a half inch. It looks kind of like an L representing a left tab. Now I want the second column to be at about five inches. So I don't want a left tab though because that's what you saw with my example uh, where the prices didn't align. So I'm going to change the tab type. When I click it one time I end up with a center tab. That's a rather interesting tab. I click it again I get a right align tab that has very useful purposes but in this case I'm working with decimal dollar amounts here so I'm going to click it one more time and I end up with a decimal tab and I'm going to set that at five inches. So now let's see how this works. Instead of having to hit the tab key three times I only have to hit the tab key once it jumps to the one and a half inch mark. I can now type the name of the chicken now here's the cool thing. I hit the tab key again and it jumps right to the five inch mark and I can put in the price of the chicken. Now I hit enter. I'll do it again here for the leghorn. I hit the tab key and it jumps right to the decimal point. So when I type the price it automatically aligns at the decimal point which is far better than what I had before. Some people use left tabs and, and try to align it with spaces and that takes hours and it never really looks right. Let's type a couple more here. Let's put a Rhode Island Red in here. And let's make that $10.48. That'll be an expensive chicken here. And let's put a white <clears throat> A white Holland and that'll be 549. Okay so you can see how easy it was to set tabs. Now in this case there's a couple of things that I don't like that Microsoft Word does, does by default. Notice that each time I pressed enter between the names of the chickens and the price I have really an extra line. That isn't line spacing it's actually paragraph spacing. By default Microsoft Word adds eight points after each paragraph. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to change that. So I'm going to select all of my columned information that uses tabs. I'm going to go back to the home tab and I'm going to expand the paragraph dialog box. And in the paragraph dialog box I can see that Microsoft Word has added an extra eight points 
after each paragraph. I don't want that. I'm just going to change that to zero. So I'll change it to zero. I click OK. And now I end up with a much better looking price list. At least I think it's better looking. It uh, doesn't have those extra spaces. Now the other nice thing about setting tabs is when you do that, you can actually add some additional features to your tabbed um, information. What I'd like in this case is I would like a solid line to go between the name of the chicken and the price of the chicken. I can do that very easily in the tab setting option in the dialog box, in the, uh, the paragraph dialog box. So I'm going to go back and open up the paragraph dialog box. Down at the bottom, bottom left, you see the tab button. If I click on tabs, I can actually set tabs here if I wanted to. But I want to put a dash or solid line between the name of the chicken and the price of the chicken. And we call those leaders. And you'll see there's a section here uh, that says leader. We have different kinds of leaders. By default, we have no leader. There's nothing between them, just blank spaces there. So it's the five inch tab that I want the, the line to come in front of or lead with. So I make sure I click on the five inch tab. And then I'm going to choose the type of leader that I want, which in this case is the solid line. So I selected number four. I click OK. And now I have a solid line. Now I'm going to add another chicken just to show you how easy this was here. We hit enter, tab right to it. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a red leghorn. I hit the tab key instantly. I get the lines. And again, these are aligned by the decimal point. So you can see how easy it is to set tabs. And hopefully you see why in this case. Um, hopefully you can dress up your documents a little bit when they need tab settings. Remember, you can find additional information on my website, luthermaddy.com. Thank you very much.